My affiliation with Columbia has evolved over time from being school-based uh, to being university-based. The support that the university gave for the women athletes at that moment in time went up so high. There's a richness that you experience when you move out of your divisional silo. Each of you has made a lasting impression on the Columbia community. John C. Connell, Columbia College. I was a pretty ordinary kid from the blue collar section of the Bronx. But what Columbia did for me was to open up a whole new world. I was a Greek and Latin comparative literature major. I think we might have had five students in the class. It was not just a special experience, it was a very intimate experience. I love the core. I liked it so much that I then continued after the Corps to enroll in my junior and senior years in the colloquium. We would meet one night a week, two professors in Hamilton over a bottle of sherry and discuss the great works for two or three hours. One of the things I was involved in was the Glee Club. Even as a first semester freshman, I was making friends with students in the Graduate School of Arts and Sciences, the law school, the nursing school. It was almost, in a sense, without being planned as such, a precursor to the whole CAA experience. My Columbia commitment, I think, is lived out every day and will continue to be um, through the work I've done with the ARC, through the work I've done with the local uh, CUCP, uh, through the work I would love to do with CAA going forward. I consider myself uh, an alum who uh, has not yet even reached the uh, limits of my uh, interest and ability uh, to give back to the university. I tell any prospective alum who's interested in joining a regional club, it's absolutely the most fun thing you could possibly do. When you branch out and knock on your neighbor's door in nursing or journalism or medicine, it's like being in the academic glee club. Everybody's singing together to make beautiful music. I have three of my four kids that have gone to Columbia, and that is, those are skills, especially in critical thinking and critical analysis, that help anyone in any profession, frankly, in any endeavor in life, including good citizenry. The journey from a Columbia student to a member of our alumni community is a rite of passage. What is so interesting about attending commencement is to see this celebration of graduates again in all divisions of the university, not just the college. James Gerkes. I was hell-bent on going to college, so I was going to go to whatever school was going to take me. Uh, but I was fortunate enough that Columbia accepted me without a high school degree. I was this kid from Corona, Queens, I was 16 years old when I enrolled as a freshman. Uh, I was a commuter in 1976. I would say at least a third of the students were commuters. I loved having a general liberal arts education, and obviously the core is a fundamental part of that. I'm of Greek ancestry, so it was, you know, for me, it was interesting from that point of view. I was heavily involved in the course guide wrote lots of reviews to the consternation of many professors who shall remain nameless. <laughs> because of my family circumstances, you know, leaving New York City was not a viable option. So I wanted to go to the best law school in New York City, being that happened to be Columbia. But for financial aid, I would not have gone to Columbia College and uh, I would not have gone to Columbia Law School. Uh, so that was the uh, single most important factor in my deciding that I should get involved. I have to say I really uh, have enjoyed uh, the last four or so years uh, being president of the Columbia University Club. We had, in conjunction with the uh, United Nations Association, the ambassador to the UN from uh, Germany came and spoke. The lecture in academic programming is a continuation of my higher education that began at Columbia College. Like CAA, the Columbia University Club of New York is the, I think, the only other Columbia-affiliated organization uh, you know, that is university-wide. All right, big smile, hold that. 
first I felt like I was in a Harry Potter movie, getting all dressed up in the robes and the things. I thought it was a lot of fun, uh, notwithstanding uh, the rain. Helen Doyle Yeager. My older brother was, uh, came to Columbia and was class of 1983. We were from San Diego, California. He said, Columbia College doesn't accept women. And we um, came across the street and I walked around and I was just blown away. So I walked into the basketball gym and went up and asked Nancy Califis if there were open tryouts or some way that I could be involved. And she kind of laughed and looked at me and said, you know, you're on the team. There was an article that said something like freshman phenom Helen Doyle and it got posted on my brother's dorm room. He just couldn't believe that his little sister you know, was actually in the, the paper, I think. <laughs> my uniform was Barnard for two years and Columbia for two years. It was you know, just at the point where Columbia had gone co-ed and the consortium had come into effect. Barnard Bears had our, its own spirit and its own love of sports and some incredibly talented athletes but we had to wash our own uniforms and you know nobody had been recruited and so it was really for the love of it. I think that transition of being a Barnard Bear and then a Columbia Lion and and having my practice jerseys washed and being treated like that had had such an effect on me and I thought I actually, I matter, like I'm not afraid to speak up, I'm not afraid to uh, be in a room full of men and, and give my opinion. When the consortium happened, I was the female representative with, on the board of trustees. It was amazing to, to listen to the thought process and they asked me about women's sports. So I was one of the first people to join the athletics leadership committee that Bill Campbell and Diane Murphy founded. It was just blown away by her vision. She said, you know, now is our time. And I thought, it, that just hit me. And I said, you know, I'm in. As I got involved with the Campbell Sports Center, I got re-engaged with the women's basketball program. I feel very privileged to have been honored with, with this alumni award at this point. It's such a fun time to be part of this university and especially somebody who was, you know, an athlete.